Okay, let's talk to False Prophet again. The current Pope, who I am almost totally positive is the False Prophet. I'm 100% sure Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist, and I'm going to attach videos that scripturally prove what I'm saying. <coughs> Scripture backs me up. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure now that the Pope is the False Prophet. I can't be 100% because I can't find all the Scripture. The Bible doesn't, doesn't describe the False Prophet with all the Scripture that it does the uh, Antichrist. So, uh, all this, also I'm going to link my other Pope video that, that goes through all the other stuff. I don't want to rehash everything on here. But you know from before when I was talking about how he says that all good atheists go to heaven? Well, now he broke out and said, not even you don't have to be an atheist. If you're just a good person and you follow your conscience, if you have a good heart, you're going to heaven. That's what this guy had the nerve to say. His number two man that he just now appointed is now saying that he's looking at having it uh, where um, priests no longer have to be celibate. They can just go ahead and have sex and stuff. He's known as the cold call pope now. Like I said before, he's calling everybody. Just pick up the phone and call people. He called one guy who was a sodomite and said that it's okay that he's a sodomite. Don't worry about that, that he's still going to heaven. And now this is the latest from the guy. Let me go ahead and read it right from the horse's mouth. Oh, uh, see here. The Pope segregates Jews from Israelis. One of the grave dangers in the Vatican's dialogue with Judaism is the church's attempt to drive a wedge between the good and docile Jews of the diaspora and the bad and arrogant Jews of Israel. It seems there's no room for stubborn, faithful, faithful Zionists in Israel or anywhere else in the Pope's lenient smile. In his speeches, Jewish national aspirations are ignored and denigrated. So this Pope now is trying to say that Israel, Jews in Israel are no good, but other Jews are. Hmm, does this sound familiar? What's, what is his right-hand man, his boss, the Antichrist, going to do, Obama going to do mid-trib? He's going to desecrate the temple and start going after all Jews in Israel, all people in the entire world who will not take the mark of the beast. I'm telling you, my friends, we need, need to wake up and see what's going on. Wake up and see what's happening right now. We are in the last of the last of the last of the last days. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or if you're a backslider, and you refuse to repent because you believe the lie of once saved, always saved, i got a prayer in a couple minutes. You need to pray with me now and get saved to repent. And for those who believe in once saved, always saved, i got scripture. I've got 250 scripture from the KJV. God's word, not my words, not your words, God's word and commentary and it says over and over and over and over and over and over and over again repent 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 every time you sin after you're saved if you don't you're not stepping foot into heaven my friends you're not getting raptured end of story end of sentence end of discussion there's no debating you're arguing god's word like so many uh, so-called christians want to do with me they want to argue and debate god's word no no it's written plain accept it or call god a liar that's the bottom line christian that's the way that it is Let's have a word of prayer. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I'm back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father and make a place for your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. Your precious name I ask it. Amen. <coughs> you pray this prayer. Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. When you get saved, get you that KJV Bible. So the living, breathing, breathing word of God will feed your spirit and soul. Will you feed your body with food and water every day? Pray to Jesus every day. He loves you. He's your new best friend. Get water baptized. Dunked under water as soon as possible. Sprinkle baptized in the past. Don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray to fill with the Holy Spirit, sanctified from head to toe by living for Christ, by praying and reading the Bible every day. Take that KJV to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. Find some else to worship. And lastly, repent, 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 repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, repent if you want to go to heaven or be raptured. Same thing. I'd like me to pray for you for anything, from terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. Praise the Lord, and I prayed for it. He gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. And if He does, it's all because of Him, nothing to do with me. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. That's why I do this. It's not for any fame. I don't accept a, accept a penny on this channel. I, like Jesus, I don't take a penny for anything that I do. The gospel is free. I don't care what anybody can lame excuses. Anyone who takes a penny, on YouTube and on Facebook for the so-called ministry, shame on you. And you will answer for it one day. I don't beg for anything. I don't, I don't do anything for fame, for fortune, nothing. Only for the cross of Christ. Only for my master, Jesus Christ. That's why I do this night and day. That's why I bring these videos to you every day. I don't want to see anybody die and go to hell. Even those of you who hate me out there, who loathe me, and who have threatened to kill me. I love all you guys as well. I have no ill feeling against any of you at all. Let's pray and witness, my friends, every day in what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. See you tomorrow, Lord willing. Or if I'm not raptured or dead first, 
for the next Key End Times Rapture headline. Good night.